Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've recently had a lot of people asking how I clean my tools. So I did mention, I think it was when I was showing the tools that I love that um, I was showing the scissors I use and stuff and from there people were asking like how do I sharpen them, how do I clean them and so on. So I am actually <laughs> going to clean all my tools because it's kind of that thing you do at the end of the year and I've reorganised a lot of things in my craft room, I've donated lots of things and um, just had a bit of a sort out really and started to just get things organised again. Got new things that I got for Christmas so I just wanted to kind of go through and um, yeah, just get everything back in order. So I just thought I would just show you a very simple way that I clean what I, you know, the tools that I use that you see me use um, regularly. So I use Surgical Spirit and I believe it's the same as rugging, rubbing, <laughs> rugging, rubbing alcohol. And you can pick this up, it's pretty inexpensive. I get this from Boots the Chemist and I think it's about three pound, but I'm sure you can get it cheaper and you can probably get it cheaper on Amazon. I'll share some links anyway, but uh, yeah, Surgical Spirit, rubbing alcohol, I believe they're the same thing. So as you can see, I'm nearly at the end of this one and I will probably, by the time I've cleaned my mat as well, because I'm gonna show you how to do that, this will probably be gone. So what I always use is these microfiber cloths. They're lint free, so they're brilliant. I use them for cleaning my stamps because you don't get obviously any lint on them. I've stopped using wet wipes. You won't see me use wet wipes unless there's maybe a technique because you can do some fun techniques with wet wipes and you can use them when you're doing like those silhouette kind of cards and things like that. So. You know, I don't want to kind of write off wet wipes, but we know there's a big thing with them with the environment and I don't put mine down the toilet and nobody should be doing that because that's half the problem. But you don't really need to have them in your craft stash, I don't think anymore, unless you are someone that does a lot of techniques and you like to do, like I said, the effects that some of them can do. I'm sure you can get that with just like a damp cloth. And um, yeah, who knows? But that's just my view on it anyway. So I love using microfiber cloths. Now, believe it or not, these are clean. <laughs> They're just heavily stained. This one probably could actually wash up a little bit more, but I know that one's um, been washed. These are the Spontex. They're just, you can buy them in packs, very inexpensive. You can pick them up from the pound shops, supermarkets, places like that but they are literally used for everything in my craft room. I clean with them, you know, I use them for my stamping. So when I've stamped, I just spray them with my spray bottle that I have here and clean the stamps and put the stamps straight back onto their pad and put them away. So yeah, some people, you know, they go out and buy all the specialty cleaners and stuff. I'm not saying don't, but I don't think you have to. Save your money and put it into buying, you know, stamps and dyes and papers and things like that because you can just clean things just as well with good old hot soap and water, which is, you can do that to clean pretty much everything here. It might just take a little bit longer. What the Surgical Spirit does, rubbing alcohol, things like that, is it gets everything off. I mean, they use them in the hospitals, so it's just, it's spotless. You know, there's nothing on them at all and it comes off very easily. So stickers, things like that, just kind of wipe off. It's, like, it's really, really good. Whereas if you're using hot soapy water, you might have to just maybe sit all of your scissors in the bowl for a while and then, you know, clean them off with, uh, you know, a rag or something. The other reason I like using these is when I'm cleaning scissors, obviously you have to be very careful because they're sharp, but because this is so thick and padded, I can, you know, get in there and kind of clean everything off the blades without worrying that I'm going to cut myself. If you're using toilet tissue, um, kitchen roll, things like that, do take extra care because once you've kind of cleaned these and obviously the blades are sharp, it's just going to cut straight through things like that. So, whereas these don't seem to get cut up um, at all really. So, and I've also got my, some of my acrylic blocks here. These are just terrible. I mean, these haven't been cleaned since way before Christmas and they've got Versamark on there and, um, you know, bits of embossing powder stuck to it, stays on and things like that. So I'm going to clean those as well. So first of all, I want to just clean, I've got my metal rulers as well because they've, some of them have got glue. That one there's really dirty. But I'm going to show you just how to clean, you know, a pair of scissors and then I'm going to go and put it all on high speed and get these all cleaned. I've got a movie ready to watch and, um, and then the mat is pretty much the same way, but what I do with my mat is I actually tip, um, tip this on as it is into like the areas because a lot of the kalau, when if it, you know, I get it on my finger, I'm really bad and I just wipe it on here. So there's like kalau there. You can see it's just a bit shiny. I can't even really pick that off, but if I just tip that on neat, and leave it for a few minutes, it just breaks down and then I literally just wipe it with that and it comes away straight away. So, first of all, let me get these ones here because these are very mucky. Some of these aren't dirty with glue, but I do want to sharpen everything as well. So 
this is what I use here. This is just a um, a knife and a scissor stock sharpener. I've had it for ages. You can see it's very, very well worn and it's brilliant. So once everything's clean, then we'll go through that. So I'm just going to grab one of my rags here and I'm just going to pour some of this just in the corner. And then very carefully, you can see that one there. Look at it. It's absolutely, I'm so, I'm so ashamed of this because these are my special, most favouritest. <laughs> It's not even a proper word, but they are just, I love these scissors. And I have just let them get absolutely neglected over Christmas. So I highly recommend these scissors, they're beautiful, but yeah, don't, don't do what I've done with them. And then I just start kind of rubbing it through. And if you kind of put it in, you know, like, so you wrap it around and it's come off straight away. I mean, you can do it upside down again, if you're worried that you might, you know, you don't want to cut yourself, then do it upside down that way because then it's not going to cut through anything so but just do take extra care but already oh, it's just so look at that it is just wonderful and show you that side there that's a little bit of like um it's, it's almost like a bit of rust i think because that was there and i remember i couldn't get it off last time but it hasn't affected the way the scissors work and they're just right at the ends there just gonna get right down into that blade Make sure there's nothing, yeah, see there's some glue just up on the edge there, so I'm just going to very carefully. But this just breaks down through all of the, the stickiness, so it just comes off so easily. There we go. So that is now clean. Apart from, like I said, that little rusty mark, which I just can't seem to shift. But now, you know, what a difference. You can even see the shine again, and again that side there. That's just like scratches and stuff, but there is no stickiness on that at all now. I can just run my finger over that really nicely. So just do the same, that there's all really sticky. So I'm just gonna pop it back in there again. Like I said, you can either do it that way or pop it upside down. Just do take, you know, care with them. You can get those gloves as well. Those like chain mail gloves. Again, if you're someone that's really, you know, I'm very nervous with a cutting knife. I'm in a lot more control with this, so I know I'm not going to cut myself. Cutting knives petrify me. That's why I've got that ruler that I use, that triangular one. Um, but now, that is, again, spotless. All of that's come straight off. So, you know, you can do this with hot soapy water. I just say to leave them soaking for a while, and then you should be able to just buff it off. But I've also got some stickiness on the handles. So I'm just going to go around and just kind of buff that all off plus it gets rid of all the germs as well so if you're someone you know doesn't like germs and does like to clean everything off or maybe you've had people using your craft supplies and the, the kids have been round and and just been taking things you know give them a nice clean with the the rubbing alcohol and the surgical spirit and stuff and it just gets rid of all those germs so but now I have a clean pair of scissors. Now once I sharpen these, they're gonna be just like new again. So, I mean, they're pretty sharp now anyway. You can, you can sometimes I say you can hear the sharpness. You know what I mean? They've just got that sound to them. Again, I've got a bit of a scissor um, problem because I've got loads. But I'm happy now that all the glue is off. You just wanna check the top of the blades, just there. So I think there's a little bit along the edge of that one. I, I'm either missing or it's just, oh no, there it goes, come off. I think I just missed it before, there we go. Yeah, that's lovely. So that's what I do. So I'm gonna sit here now and a few, these snips are terrible. Look at the state of those, really, really bad. In fact, they, they don't even, you can, they just kind of stick. So I'm gonna do those next. A lot of them are okay. I don't even think I've used these since I cleaned them last. These are like cheapy ones, but they're really good sometimes, you know, just if you're just randomly cutting up bits of paper and trimming things. My snips I wanna work on and um, yeah, just work my way through those. The metal ruler, just do the same way. I'm just gonna pour some and just, you know, wipe it up and down there. You have to be careful with some things you use because they might rub off the, you know, your writing and all of your markings. But um, this doesn't do that on this one because I've used it before, but that's pretty dirty. So I'll do those. And the same with these. Again, you can just tip some of the, you know, what you're cleaning them with. Again, or just sit them in some hot soapy water. And bleach works really well, getting the Versa mark off and things like that. And it obviously won't damage those because be careful with bleach. If you're going to use it neat, 
then I would put these in the sink, put the plug in and just tip some of the bleach over them and then just let it sit for a few minutes and then rinse it all off. Um, I've done that before or if you would rather just dilute it slightly with some water and again just leave them sitting in there as well and that's what I sometimes do with these when I've washed them if I do want to get some of the colour off I just put them in some bleach and it just kind of bleaches the colour so I'm going to pop my movie on I'm going to get all of these cleaned and then I will show you how to clean the mat quickly and then sharpen the scissors is clean I'm going to do the mat in a minute I'm just going to move all this off but you can see just how nice the blocks come up nice and shiny no stickiness at all and they, oh, and they take everything off you know stays on your Versamark even like those sticky very thick um, metallic inks um, I've used those those have been on it. it just everything comes off so you know it's a you know relatively inexpensive and it does last a long time I only kind of kind of topped up this a few times with just a very small amount so it, you you know it does last a very long time so that's the blocks all done um all the scissors are done but we're going to sharpen them actually i'll quickly do it now while they're all on my desk with me because um and then i can put them away and clean them at last but basically all you do with this i'll get my long ones again because it's probably easier to show you with these so depending on what you've got, some are just scissor ones, some are just knife ones, but you can see there's a little symbol of a pair of scissors and then there's your knife. So you just want to follow this, the shape of that with your scissors. So if I open these ones up here, so you can see there where you've got the blade kind of, um, you know, on an angle, you want to sit that in so it's within that section there. Obviously do take care with this, you hold it there and then the the blade if you do kind of flip it off and it slips it will hit onto this so it won't hit onto you okay so that's your like safety piece there but you just start right from the um inside there and just and you can hear it like so i mean it's up to you how many you do you, you basically just um you know shaving off some of that metal so you just you know so that a nice new bit kind of appears so if I go around to this one here what's that about five or six times and then again you can do a test on it a scrap here lovely lovely nice sharp scissors perfect so that's that's it, that's all I do. So those ones I can pop back. And again, just get your next ones. And these don't really need it, so I'm not gonna go over it too much. But I've got my fabric scissors there, which I've used on paper. So I'd always recommend that if you've used them on paper, sharpen them again and then put them back with your fabric. Because, um, yeah, you just don't wanna be mixing your scissors really, your fabric scissors and stuff, because it does Paper will blunt, you know, very quickly. Like so you can also use, you know, just cut some, um, rip off some sheets of foil, kitchen foil, and um, and do that. I, it does kind of work. I don't. I wouldn't say you get as good a result as you would with using proper, you know, sharpening blade there. But again, I always like to just check. Yeah, nice and sharp. 
no like feathering, no fluffiness. Yeah, they're really nice. So I'm gonna quickly go through and do this, pop my rulers away, clear all this up, and then we'll just clean this mat to finish. So now I'm just going to clean my mat. So I've just got, I don't know how well you can see, but I've got sticky marks there, here, here, here. It's a lot of it you can't probably see on camera, but I can feel it. So like I said, you can pour this on or you can just, you know, saturate your cloth a little bit more. But I'm just going to, I'll probably end up, well, no, I probably won't use all this actually. But um, I'm just kind of, just let it kind of get into the the glue because that's what is mainly really on here I've got a little bit of staining from some of my inks and stuff this mat's a little bit warped um, so it's kind of running off a little bit there I'll just kind of bring that back in a bit but just kind of dab it on some areas and just leave it for a bit, no, not long just like you know a minute or so just so it can actually you know do its thing with all that stickiness and then you just want to rub it a little bit um, and that's it and it really does bring your mat up lovely and clean um, I mean I do look after my mats so I've even got my older ones the green ones that I've used in old tutorials and things like that and um, I do I prefer a self-healing mat to a glass mat I've got a thing about glass mats even in the kitchen I don't like them I don't like cutting on a glass mat um, you know, with the, using a cutting blade, and then I just oh, it's kind of it's like when you rub cotton wool together, it kind of yeah, it just goes through me. So that's why I don't like them. I know loads of you do love them, and that that's great. You know, it's all about finding things that work for you and what you enjoy. So, but I do prefer a self healing mat, and uh, yeah, so that's why I've got them. Some people do ask, and they say, you know, do you recommend a glass mat or? I recommend both because they're both very good but for me personally it's more of a I just don't like the feel of it I don't like working on something so hard this is great because it's I can hammer on this when I'm making mini albums I can cut into it um, and you know it's self-healing so the the cuts just kind of you know disappear again um, I can flip this over this is the Arteza one so it's got inches on both sides so what I do is I do rotate it so I'll clean this all up in fact, I might flip it after this one because I think I flipped it maybe about three or four weeks ago. Um, and it just, yeah, it just get an even wear then. And um, it just lasts a bit longer. And it, I really like this one. So, uh, yeah, so I've just left that kind of sitting there while I've just been chatting. And whilst it's still very wet there, there's some glue and it's just come straight off. And, yeah, it just goes to, like, mush. It almost goes back to a glue form again. And then the, you know, the surgical spirit just breaks it all down and um, yeah just comes right off so I'm just gonna go now and uh, give this a good clean carry on watching my movie <laughs> and then I'll be back again So that's my mat all clean. I did flip it as well and give it a wipe on the other side. I also went over and just wiped my bone folders. This one never gets anything on them anyway, but that one was a little bit dirty. So I've just wiped that. Um, and you can do anything. I've got my IKEA pegboard in front of me. So I just go and wipe all like the bottoms of the little um, kind of holders that I've got all like pens and glues and stuff in because sometimes things catch on that. Um, your cropper dial handles, all that kind of stuff. You can just, yeah, wipe over anything really. It's a good way just to give everything a clean. I'm going to wipe the rest, I'm going to wipe the rest of my desk as well. I've got some stamps that I need to just give a quick clean. And uh, yeah, that's what I do. So I do that maybe every six to six weeks, two months. It's just good to kind of keep on top of everything. And um, yeah, you look, that way your tools last. You know, I've got those, most of those scissors. I mean, these are fabric ones I've had for years. Um, 
those snips I've had a long time but you know they're good they still work but just you know even just giving them a little sharpen just prolongs it a bit longer after time I guess they're just eventually not going to be as great as they were and then I'm, I would say that's when you've got to you know buy another pair but these are just every time I do it I'm like right I will not use these to cut anything with glue on but um unfortunately it does happen but now they're just they're lovely again so it's nice everything's so clean again and uh, now I'm going to think what shall I go and make so I hope you've liked this um, quick video just to kind of give you a few hints and tips on um, you know how to clean stuff and what I do um, I'm sure many of you have got other great ideas as well pop them in the comments below because I know others like to read them and uh, yeah thank you for watching I'll be back again soon bye